there, folks. Hey, so today we're going to show you how to enable CDN caching using AWS CloudFront for F5's Essential App Protect uh, WAF, which is our as a service WAF in the cloud. Um, so this is an optional integration. Um, it just is super simple to set up and it will result in uh, cloud services configuring a uh, CloudFront distribution on your behalf for use with your Essential App Protect protected applications. Um, one thing you might want to note here, which we think is compelling, is that you know the the if you do it through cloud services, the CloudFront billing is all part of. Uh, it's all just included. You don't have to do anything further in AWS. You don't have to set up anything in AWS, um, and so there's no no other steps that you have to take outside of what I'm showing you right now. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're logged onto the F5 Cloud Services console, you'll see you have Essential App Protect if you're subscribed to this service. If not, you can subscribe very easily. Uh, clicking on that will show you your applications. I just have this one here that I'm using to demonstrate. And uh, we can see that we've seen some traffic. Now to change the config, I'll hit Protect Application. And down at the bottom, I can see that caching is available but not enabled. So to enable that, I really just have to hit that checkbox choose a caching location tier. Um, this just controls how broadly it's distributed. And then I hit update and that's pretty much it. So it'll take just a, a few moments in the background to uh, and create the distribution in AWS and to enable it. And uh, this is a pretty seamless process. So uh, it'll take a second or two, but once it's done, you'll be able to just go ahead and refresh your site and see that it's still functioning. Um, you didn't need to move any certs around or anything like that. Um, but now we can kind of do a little bit of tests or a couple tests just to make sure everything is working. So if we use dig against our domain, we can see that the DNS settings have been updated to reflect all of the CloudFront distribution points that are enabled for this app. And again, doing a quick refresh, I can see the site's still functioning. If we now use curl, uh, a command line tool to make a request to the site and evaluate the headers, we'll be able to validate, in fact, that it's coming through CloudFront. We're seeing the AWS CloudFront headers. We can tell whether or not we've got a hit or a miss from cache. In this case, it was a miss uh, because this was a piece of dynamic content. If we requested like an image or other cacheable objects, we would have seen that that was cached. Um, but now I've made a bunch of requests kind of in the background so we can see that the caching metrics are being updated. This tab is enabled now and I can see traffic being passed through CloudFront and all of that good stuff. So we get this data back from AWS and it's integrated and available for you to use. So it really is that simple. Uh, give it a shot today. If you're already an Essential App Protect customer, it is really as simple as I just showed you. If you're not, give the uh, check out our 30 day free trial. It's super simple to get started. And uh, yeah, you should be able to get off to the races in just a few moments. So give it a whirl. Thank you.